just like in 2009. And just like in 2010, the Bobcats beat the Temple Owls in 2011. Hi, everybody. I'm Russ Eisenstein, the voice of the Ohio Bobcats. Rob Cornelius is alongside. Final score at Peden Stadium, Ohio 35, Temple 31. This was a thriller. Uh, it was an amazing game, and now three in a row over Temple sets Ohio up for three games in a row to close this season strongly. Maybe a MAC title, maybe a division title, and almost certainly a bowl with one more win. Ohio controls its own destiny now in the Mid-American Conference's Eastern Division race. They're trying to get to Detroit for the third time in the Frank Solich era. Obviously, the last play offensively was huge. The last scoring play was huge. It was patience. It was persistence. It was Tyler Tettleton to Dante Foster for the winning score. No, and Ohio closed strongly in the red zone. When they needed scores inside the 20, Tettleton was a guy, and that play just went on and on and extended 14, 15, 16 seconds, finally delivers the ball back across his body mm -hmm. to Dante Foster, who had come back to him. But this game was big plays to the neutral zone and then good finishes by Ohio. Yeah, 521 yards against these statistically ranked fifth best defense defense in the country. Yeah, I mean, Temple had given up 36 to Toledo, but no one else has scored anywhere near into the high 20s or even the 30s. And Ohio put up big yards tonight, but it was ground and air. And Brazil and Harden, big nights for both. Yeah, the single game all-time record for Dante Harden for total yards in a contest with 324. And he was able to get it done tonight in all ways. And you knew it was big for him. He's a PA native. Didn't go to Temple, but Ohio took him, and Ohio's glad to have him. Well, he had a couple a couple big runs, obviously, an 81-yard run on the ground. And then for passing game, he got out in the pattern and caught a couple deep balls as well. Ohio had good protection tonight, enough blocking to run long, deep routes to running backs, not the primary receivers. Yeah, and when it counted, Ohio's defense came up big. Yeah, 437 yards for the Owls, but they weren't mondo impactful yards at the end of this deal. And they did what they had to do defensively tonight. No, Temple checked in a quarterback where there was no tape, a third string guy no one ever seen before, and he ran for a lot of yards. But the good news for Ohio, this D-line that had worried us since going back to the going back to summer, tonight they played strongly. Didn't have a big tackle number, but they played so well that Noah Keller ended up with seemingly a million tackles. Yeah, so Ohio shined on the national stage tonight under ESPN's bright lights and the bright lights here at Peden Stadium. They blacked out Temple with the win 35-31. Here's how it looked and sounded at Peden Stadium. It's five and three and two and two Ohio University and five and three and three and two Temple University and on a blackout night at Peden Stadium and for the first time in a game broadcast on ESPN, it's time for Bobcat football. This is huge, friends. This is a big one. It's Ohio and Temple and it is game on in Athens. Tettleton out of the pistol, four-man rush Temple, hands it off Harden, running left side, got to the left side edge, far sideline on the run, 40, 35, 30, tripped up at the 20, 70-yard line. Tettleton out of the pistol, Harden behind him. And Tyler takes a snap, play fake, rolls the pocket right, looks back left, throws on the run left, Dante Harden's out there, caught it! Touchdown, Cats! On the first drive, Ohio rips the field. Tyler Tettleton hooks up with Dante Harden, 6 nothing Cats! Second and nine, it's a delay handoff. Run to the right side, Pierce to the 33-yard line, and that's all. Black-clad cats all over his case, and Noah Keller, who is wearing that number 62 to honor Marcellus Williamson with a Marcellus-esque slobber knocker at the 33-yard line. On his left hip, it is Harden. They hand it off on a jet sweep to the left side. It's LeVon Brazil through a hole on his feet now. On the run, 30, 35, 40. Far sideline, 50. Gages his defender, and he bumps him out of bounds. Inside the 40-yard line. First and 10, ball at the 47-yard line in Ohio territory. Two wideouts left. It's a pitch to the left and a handoff to Phil Bates, who has time, throws to the right side. Tuttleson's out there, made the catch at the 30-yard line. Down there, some trickery from the Cats. Seven minutes to go, and we're level at seven in the second quarter. It's a handoff to Hard. No, Tettleton keeps after an option. Dives for the end zone in. Touchdown, Cats. Tyler Tettleton sold everybody on the fake. Second down and three. Ball at the Ohio 24. And it's Coyer to keep. Pieces through a hole to the right side. Lost the ball. Ohio's on it at the 16-yard line. Alfonso Lewis came up with the ball at the 16. Second down and seven. Ball at the 19. It's an option to right. Harden keeps. Head and shoulder fake. Got a first down. Middle of the field. 30, 35, 40. On the run. 45, 50. He could score a touchdown. 30, 25, 20. Near sideline. 10, 5, 6 for the Cats. Ohio on top, 20 to 14. Pierce dots the eye, third down and three, ball at the 12. They hand it off to Pierce, bottled up, and he's trying to drive the pile, but he's shy of the first down. He got to the 10, and Noah Keller got him again. And Ohio stands tall defensively. Blankenship on the left hip of Tettleton, four-man rush Temple. Lob pass, left sideline, looks for Brazil, and did he make the catch? He did! Inside the five, and he goes out of bounds at the two. 
Lavon Brazil made the catch. Play fake, Tettleton throwing left, wide open, caught. Jordan Thompson caught it, touchdown Cats. After a quick snap and a play fake and a look to the left, Jordan Thompson was wide open from here to his hometown in Northwest Ohio. Tettleton out of the pistol, two wide receivers in the pattern, play fake to Harden, has time, looks right, throws towards Harden on a wheel route, he's out there, and he made the catch, over the shoulder, 30, trip down at the 25 yard line. And Dante Harden's had an amazing night, on the ground and through the air. You need a touchdown here. And to think about going for it on fourth down, you got to be inside the five. Wide out left, two wide outs to the right. Out of the shotgun, it's Tendleton. Looks right, looks over the middle. In trouble now. Pocket breaks, scampers left. On the run left. Throws towards the end zone, and it is caught! Touchdown, Ohio! Dante Foster! Oh, baby, what a big time hookup! The Oklahoma kids come through! 141 to go for the ball game. Ohio 34, Temple 31. This is the ball game. Fourth down and five. Ball at the Temple 33. Coyer out of the shotgun. Has time. Time runs out. Pocket breaks. Throws it right. It's low. It's incomplete. Ohio's going to win the ball game. Turnover on Downs Temple. Seven seconds. Six. Now five. He's back at midfield. This is going to do it. Three, two, one. Over. Ohio wins. Ohio wins. Ohio wins. 35-31 over Temple. In a showdown game in the back east. Ohio continues to flex its muscle over the Owls. You could paint this one green and white in 2011. Ohio 35, Temple 31. And you certainly can't overestimate what Ohio has done on the national stage now, what Ohio has done to the Mac East over the past couple of years. They shined under that spotlight tonight. It was all on the Cats. No, both faced Dub Wonderland. When ESPN shows up, good things happen. Remember, the, the, obviously, the win over Pitt early in the Frank Solich chair and the one tonight. And due to good Mac TV policies and due to the NBA being gone, Ohio's going to be on national TV a few more times this year. Absolutely. And now it's back on national TV next week in the mid-Michigan Mount. It could be snowing in Mount Pleasant. Heck, it's November, of course. Ohio will take on three wins, Central Michigan, and they're a ball club right now that's really just trying to find their way. They seem to be a long way away from those dominant years that we saw over the last couple of years. But maybe that's motivation. This Ohio team, when Frank Solich first got them up to speed, went to Detroit, played Central, got their clocks clean. I put that tape in the machine get these guys warmed up for next week. Didn't you get the memo? Again, you never <laughs> wear the, the, the T-shirt of the band whose concert you're attending. Too cool to wear black tonight. Well, no matter what colors you're wearing, it was victorious. Night. We'll see you in Mount Pleasant. See you next week, brother. Yeah, it was a lot of fun for everybody involved, for the entire Bobcat TV crew, for Brian Bush, for everybody. Rob Cornelius, I'm Russ Eisenstein. 35-31 the final. I'll do it here on Bobcat TV. At least I wore black tonight.